Hey, it's Chef Alexi. If you've been thinking of getting uh, a vacuum sealing system that will help you preserve your meats, your cheese, fruits, preserve stocks, or keep them longer in the refrigerator without them spoiling, then you want to keep watching. So I just received this. The brand name of this is called Food Saver. Now this is the version 3000, in particular the VS3150. I want to kind of open it up and show you how to use it and then to give my suggestions on who should buy it, who shouldn't. It's just, you know, my opinion. So in here, it'll come with the owner's manual, which you should keep. It's very easy to read. You get two bags like this, just as a sample, resealable bags that you would just get at the store, but they're specialized. They have a lot of grooves on, on one side for it to be able to pull air out. These have a place where you can put whatever it is that you are having there, steak, the date that you actually froze it, or the date that you actually put it in the refrigerator. And then what you do is you uh, open it up and you put your items in it, seal it, just like you do a resealable bag. You make sure that it's sealed, because the seal for this type of bag is up here. You're not gonna be putting it into the machine and I'll show you that later. There's like a little round area here that you put an attachment to and it actually pulls out the air. And then when you're done, you remove it and it's completely sealed. You can put meat, freeze it, uh, nuts. Then you have these type of bags that already come pre-made. There's a place down here for the date. And then inside here, it comes with two rolls. These bags that I just showed you are the same as this bag, but it's much smaller. These right here are 11 inches from here to here, and then they're 16 feet long. You really can vacuum seal a lot of food. I wanna explain to you how to operate and what the buttons means once you get to understand it. It's really simple to you. Over here is your panel that controls the actual food saver machine. So you have a button that says vacuum, a button that says seal, then a button that has mode. There's three modes on here. There's the dry, the moist, and the pulse. This automatically will always default to dry. So if you want to vacuum seal a type of food, if you have something like in a marinade or something like that, you have to change the mode in order to facilitate the, the functionality of it. Down here you have the slicer that basically slices the uh, rolls of plastic that are in here and cuts it to the size that you want. On this side you have the handheld vacuum and those are used exclusively for these. So if you don't use these type that you have to purchase from Food Saver, then you're not ever gonna use this. Now on the right side of the machine, there are three options that you can pick. One that says open, one that says store, and then one that says operate, all right? So when you want to store this, you want to close it and put it in the middle where it says store, and then you just store it away and it's fine. And this keeps the lid from opening up. If you want to open the lid, you need to put it on open, and then the lid will open. If you're gonna operate, it has to be in the operate mode for any of the functionality up here to work. There's a space for you to put the roll in. This roll fits in here. Then you have the, the little guard. When you have something moist, it pulls the water out and it gets collected here. And so this needs to be washed every time that you use it. If there's nothing in there, then don't worry about it. If you need to wash it, make sure it's completely dry and then put it back in. All right, so we're gonna take out these little doodads, throw them to the side. The great thing about this versus the method that I use, the water displacement method, the reason why this is more superior is that this really takes out much more air and you will get no freezer burn when you're using this. When I do the water displacement method and I've shown in some of my videos where I take out the air for steak or salmon and I do sous vide with it or I'll put it in the freezer, is that there's still a little bit of air in there. All the air is not out. The reason why you get what people call freezer burn is that the small amount of air that's still inside the bag when you use the water displacement method, for example, 
it freezes and then it causes the crystals and then it affects the flavor of the, the food if left in the freezer for too long. When you use this food saver, it'll remove almost all the air and you'll be able to have it in the freezer with no freezer burn for you know pretty, pretty long time, six, eight months, and it'll come out and still taste just as fresh as the day that you cut it. Before we put the steaks and start sealing away everything, every time that you're gonna use this machine, you're gonna to have to make a bag with this roll. So you're gonna to have to seal this, this part here. Pull this out just to this point, and then you're gonna to wanna to close it, and we're gonna seal that bag, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Put it for operation. Vacuum and seal. It's on dry. We're not using that now, we're just sealing. So we're not taking any air, we're just gonna seal the bag. You're gonna press seal, it's gonna take five to eight seconds for it to seal. So you see the blue light, it'll blink a little bit, then when it's done, it's the bag is sealed. I'm gonna open it, and then when I take it out, so that's the first bag, and I wanna get two steaks inside each of here, because that's how I portion out my steaks. You always wanna use the, um, the green reservoir as the guide. The other tip that I have for you is that when you're making the bag or sealing this type of bag in the rolls, you cannot have any creases at the top. If they're bent, it's not, it's not gonna work. Just make sure that it's completely flat. You wanna have one inch on the bottom and then three inches on the top of the bag so that the machine is able to do its job properly. The other thing, on these bags, you do have these little markers that are here that tells you how many inches that there are so that you can kind of gauge. So now that we've sealed the bottom of this bag, I need to cut this bag so that I can actually fill it up with the steaks and then seal it. Where you cut is right here and that's at the end. So I want this to cut right there. Now I'm gonna close it. And now I have a bag and this will fit the two steaks just good in here. Here's the, the one inch at the bottom and then when I put the steaks in here, I'll have three inches at the top. The other thing is you wanna keep this as dry as possible because if it's wet, um, it will have difficulty sealing and it won't always create the best seal possible. Now we're gonna place it inside here and do our first bag. All right, we're gonna open it. Make sure that this here is not wrinkled, all right? The sealer is right down there. And you'll see it, it's this black like strip that looks like uh, plastic. I'm gonna close it. We're gonna turn it to operate. Remember that the mode is always on dry. That's where I'm gonna leave it. I'm not doing anything with moist. Moist is if you have like marinade in it or it's like a soup with vegetables. When both of the lights stop kind of blinking slowly, that means it's completely done. So to open it, remember, you need to press it to open. And then here's the stakes. I'm gonna use these food savers, so if you're interested in buying these, these are a little bit more money. If you're the person that kind of loves this and this is your portioning that you do for yourself and your family, then I'm gonna show you how to use this. Make sure you don't get any debris or anything on the little track where you seal it because if, if there's something in here, it's not gonna work. So now it's closed. Now I have my, my beef all here, it's all nice. And that's where we gotta go right there. Now you see it says